and welcome to Order of Operations. Just before we get going, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. If you just check the description below for a download link, you can work along with me as we go through the video. Now, when we talk about the order of operations, we're talking about in which order do we complete a mathematical um, sum um, based on the different symbols that are used within it. Um, and often, the, uh, the little um, phrase that comes to mind is the phrase bid mass. And the reason for uh, that is it tells us the exact order in which we should be completing our questions. And so the question is, what do the letters bid mass actually stand for? Well, B is for brackets. So if we see brackets, they must be the first part of the question that we complete. Next comes indices. And indices are any little powers. So that might be a little squared. It might be a little cubed. It could also be a square root, a cube root, anything that is classed as a power. Um, next, we get two letters. We get the D and the M. They both come at the same time, and that is important. Division and multiplication have the same priority. They come at the same time. We just have to do them in the order that they appear. So if division is in front of multiplication, we do the division first. If the multiplication is first in the expression, we do the multiplication first. The same applies for A and S. They are addition and subtraction. They should be uh, given the same, uh, same priority um, but again, in the order that they come in the question. So let's put this into action. Um, so we're going to use three plus four times two. And so we need to think about bid mass at all times. We just need to keep that in mind so that we can keep track of which order we should be completing the question. So what we should have a look at here is, do we have any brackets? No. Do we have any indices? No. Do we have any division or multiplication? Yes, we do. So because we have a multiplication, that is the first piece we're going to do. And because this is the first piece we're going to do, the three plus does not actually change. It stays exactly as it is. But we need to work out the answer to four times two. Four times two is eight. And so now, if we look in our list, we've been through to uh, multiplication. So let's go on to addition and subtraction. We have addition and therefore three plus eight is 11. Now this is very important. If we had done the question in exactly the order it came up, we would have done three plus four is seven times it by two and ended up with 14. We would have had an incorrect answer. Let's move on to the middle. Again, have we got any brackets? No. Indices? No. Division or multiplication? Yes, we do. We have a division right in the centre. And so again, our first piece of working out, the two plus and the takeaway one, they remain in their positions. It's only the four divided by two that we need to deal with first. So four divided by two is two. And so we place that in the middle and then all we have is addition and subtraction and again addition and subtraction just come up in the order that they appear so 2 plus 2 is 4 take away 1 is 3 and in our last question 3 times 4 divided by 6 so we have no brackets we have no indices we do have division and multiplication now this is the important part. Division and multiplication happen at the same time and they happen in the order that they appear. It is not division first, then multiplication. It is uh, whichever comes first in the question. And so in this case, it is the three multiplied by four. Three times four is 12. That will then be divided by six. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, so again, 
we want to be thinking about bid mass at all times. So as we go through, do we have any brackets? Well, in the first question, there are no brackets. Do we have indices? Well, indices are little powers. And so we can see straight away that yes, we do have some powers involved. So again, six plus three and the times, they have not been affected by uh, bid mass. The first thing is that we need to do the two squared. Two squared means two times by itself. So two times two is four. As we work along now, we want to continue with bid mass. We've used I. Have we got any division or multiplication? Well, in this case, we have a multiplication. We have three times four. So again, the six plus is going to remain exactly as it was, but the three times four is going to be 12. And so finally, all we need is a final answer to this. Well, six plus 12 is 18. In our next question, we need to follow the same process again. We need to decide, have we got any brackets? We do not. Do we have indices? Yes, we have four squared. Therefore, everything else is going to remain exactly as it is. And we just need to work out what four squared is. Well, four squared means four multiplied by itself. Four times four is 16. So next, we just need to continue using bid mass. Have we got any division or multiplication? Well, we do. We have a multiplication here and we have a division here. Now remember, with uh, multiplication and division, they have the same priority. And so it just happens in the order that they come up. And so we do the two times four first. We get an answer of eight. We do the 16 divided by two, we get eight. And those two values are being added. And so our final answer is going to be eight plus eight, which is 16. And finally, 12 divided by three times two squared. So again, through our process of bid mass, there is no brackets. So we go straight to indices. There it is, it's two squared. And so we're going to have 12 divided by three times by the result of two squared. Two squared is two multiplied by itself. So two times two, four. And then we come to some division and multiplication. So again, we have to just be careful. Um, which order do they come up? Well, the division is the first one. So that is what we're going to do first this time. So 12 divided by three is four, and that's going to be multiplied by four. And so my final answer is four times four, 16. And now our final set of examples. Um, once again, keeping track of the word bit mass all the way through. So in the first question, we have one plus three times two squared, but very importantly, we have brackets. Now it is very important that brackets always come first. So whatever is inside of that bracket, that is what we must do first. So the one plus the three is four, and that is going to be multiplied by two squared. And so then we continue with our bid mass, We've used brackets, so have we got any indices? Yes, we do. We have the two squared. So we're gonna have four times the result of two squared. Two squared is four. And so we've got four times four, 16. In our second question, we need to have a look. Do we have any brackets? Well, yes, we do. They are right here in the middle and it is two plus four. So everything else is going to remain exactly as it were. So two times, this little squared is also going to remain there and divided by six, but we need to work out what two plus four is. Well, two plus four is six. Now what that means is it is this six that is going to be squared when we do our next step of indices. So the two times will remain where it was. The divide by six will remain where it was. 
but now we have 6 squared. 6 squared is 6 times 6, 36. And so we then have multiplication and division, but again, remembering that the multiplication and division is done in the order that it arrives. So it comes in this case 2 times 36. 2 times 36 is 72. 72 divided by 6. And for a little quick working out here, 6 into 72. 6 goes into 7 once with 1 left over. 6 goes into 12 twice. And so our final answer is 12. And our last question. We have the square root of 36 divided by brackets 2 plus 1. So what is going to come first in this question? Well, as always, brackets must be the first operation. So the root of 36 is going to remain where it was. 2 plus 1 is 3. Do we have any indices is the next question. And yes, we do. This square root is an index. And so um, the square root of 36 is the number which we must square to make 36. So the number that we square to make 36 is 6. 6 divided by 3. And so finally, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And we'll end with the exam question. And in fact, I've given you um, questions from two different exam papers here, um, both of which were foundation paper ones, meaning they're both non-calculator questions. And the reason for that, if this was a calculator question, you could just type it in and you get the answer straight out. So it wouldn't really be testing you that much. Um, so in the first one from June 2019, we're asked to work out 10 times brackets 3 plus 5. So this is a clear indication that we need to be thinking about bid mass because we have a combination of multiplications, uh, additions and brackets within one question. Bid mass should always be, uh, be taken into account in all questions, but this one in particular is a very clear indication we should be doing it. So starting off, we have brackets. So we must do 10 times, remaining exactly as it was, but three plus five, or well, three plus five is eight, and so if we work that through, 10 times 8 is 80. In November 2017, again, we have additions and multiplications within the same, uh, same expression. And so that is another sign that we should be thinking about, um, about bid mass. And in this case, do we have any brackets? No, we don't. Do we have any indices? No, we don't. Do we have any division or multiplication? Well, yes, we do. We have 7 times 10. And so this one will be 2 plus 7 times 10. Well, 7 times 10 is 70. And so the final answer would be 2 plus 70, uh, 70 which is 72. 